Hi everyone, Petra here at Petra's Creative Plans. So today I am here to make my word of the day page for 2022. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off. I have a piece of 32 pound, 120 GSM um, Xerox paper here that I'm going to be using. I like this, it's a nice and thick, it's fairly smooth. So I'm gonna grab my big Happy Planner punch. Okay, and I'm going to line this up and punch it. Okay, so now this is going to be going into my catch-all planner, which is a big size planner. And then I've gone ahead and I've printed off some stickers to use for this um, using my Cricut. And so I've got some florals, I've got a matching font to go with it. And then I've also got some black and white washi tape. So I've decided to do a black and white word of the year page just because it'll go with everything and I'm not stuck with a certain color palette um, that throughout the year that I might change my mind on. So my word for 2022 is purpose. Um, and I've chosen the word purpose because my intention for 2022 is to do everything for a reason, everything with a purpose in mind. And I've printed off here a little saying to go with it. And it says, when you do something with purpose, you do it with determination. When your activities have a purpose, you have an aim or intention in mind. And that's exactly how I want to go into everything for 2022. I want to be mindful of my purpose and my intent. So we are gonna start off by putting the word purpose down um, on the paper. Uh, I'm missing a letter here. So we're gonna try to start in the middle. And I'm just going to freehand this. I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. Okay. Because the P is the middle letter of the word. And that way I know that I can have this centered. Just push this extra piece out of the R. I love this font. It was just so... So cute. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to have it straight or not. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for all these letters if I go straight. So I might start to kind of curve them a bit. It's going to be tight. I might have made these letters slightly big. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, let's see if we can get these pulled up and start over. Um, it could fit if I just, if I pull up this R and move it over just a little bit more. I'm sure we can do. Okay, I'm going to need my undo. Let's grab the undo. We're off to a great start. Okay, we're going to just grab 
just grabbed a piece of paper towel because that's a lot of, a lot of unused. What I might actually do, I'm gonna pull up this P while we're at it. We're gonna start fresh, you guys. This is the beauty of undo. I absolutely love this stuff. And it lasts forever because you don't actually use it a lot. I know it looks like there's a lot coming out, but it doesn't actually use a lot. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab some wax paper. Okay, so I've got a piece of wax paper here. And we are just going to put out the word purpose. I'm going to see if it'll fit in a straight line. Thought I had sized them to fit in a straight line, and I know I'm putting them on a little bit crooked on my wax paper, that's okay. This is just to kind of measure for fit. Oh yeah, so it will fit going right across. So we'll do that. And what I might do too is take my little ruler. And I don't want to make an actual ruler line. Um, but what I'll do is I'll take these. And I will just use the ruler as a guide for the bottom of my letters. And I'm not pushing them down super hard yet, just because I want to make sure that I'm going to have room. So if I do need to move them, then hopefully I don't need to use the undo. Okay. Alright, there we go. So let's get these stuck down. All right, I like it. And then I've got these washi tapes here too. And I almost feel like taking this one. Let's see how this will look. If I can find the end of it. I was leaning originally towards the stripes, but I don't know. Kind of like this just because it sticks within that floral theme. Kind of like that. Take it right off the edge there. And then over here, what I want to do is I'm going to do the ribbon cuts. So 
sorry. Sorry if my head got in the way there, which it probably did. Okay. Like that. I might actually ribbon cut this just a little bit more. Just to get it a little bit away from that hole. There we go. Okay, nice. So now I want to take my little quote sticker here. We'll put this down next. I have to decide where I want to put it. I originally thought about having it straight in here, but I might put it lower down. Oh, I have an idea. Let's put it in here. I'm gonna come back in with this washi tape. Turn this sideways here. I want to cut my one corner is a little bit bent there, so I'm just going to cut it so we have a nice straight edge. I want to bring this down. And then I'm going to do another ribbon cut here. Okay, I like that. Um, and then I just have some of these florals to help decorate it. I did make some boxes that I can come in and I can kind of put in to focus on different different parts um areas of my life that I really want to focus on being more purposeful with so we could put some of these in and then I'm deciding if I want to have them yeah I want to pair them with some of these laurels so I think I'm going to take this one Sort of like that. And I know you can kind of, you can see that floral sticker through it, but that's okay because once I've written on it, it won't be noticeable. And I'm not sure if I'll use all of these. Um, I might. This one, I'm going to take a smaller one here. I'm going to cut it in half. Put half of it there, half of it underneath. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me stick that back down for a second because I want to take one of these bigger ones over here. And I'm going to have this come off right off the corner here, like so. We'll trim that excess off. We can still use that. Okay. We will save those bits. And this one I'm going to put right here. Oh no, that's crooked. Oh dear. Let's see if we can pull this up. It's a struggle today, guys. Some days it is a struggle. Other days things go fabulously. All right. There, we've got that one down. Um, 
do one there. Okay, and then we'll put a flower on this box here. I definitely have extra flowers, but that's okay because I wasn't sure um, how many I would need. And I can always use them another time. And I think I want to put one more of these up here. Kind of like that. I'm going to take more of a medium sized one this time. I'm going to bring it up off the page over here. And then have this one kind of coming off of that one there. Okay. I like that. It's a little busy, a little hectic, but that suits my life just fine. I might tie this one in down here just a little more. All right. Um, maybe feel like I want to bring a little bit down here off the page just so that it's matching with up there a bit better. me kind of wants to try to okay it's busy it's florally but it's definitely my style so I like that and I think I'm going to call that done this is well, we can add in the categories, actually. Let's see here. Okay, so down here... Hey family. work and now my lettering is very beginner lettering so yeah, it is what it is also family work Finances. Health.
Okay, so family, work, finances, health. And I'm just trying to think. Um, and then I guess I'll do one for my. One for my social media. Okay. There we go, you guys. This is going to be my word of the year purpose for 2022. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, all of my little struggles and all, but that's how I do it. I like to keep my channel very real. I don't like to edit out the mistakes or accidents or things that don't quite work out how how I plan them on. I like to be able to show that and that way I can show you how I overcome those obstacles or fix the problems or work around mistakes and that sort of thing. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.